Kleinen Moment bitte. Jo. So, bitteschön. Ich hätte gerne einmal das Big Tasty Menü. Mayo bitte und eine Fanta. Dann einmal den äh, Signature Trüffel Rösti. Einmal die äh, fünf Chili Cheese Snackers. Dann einmal die Chicken Box. Einmal den Mac Wrap Chicken TS. Zwei Cheeseburger. Dann einmal den Big Vegan TS. Ein Mac Chicken Classic. Ein Mac Rib. Und ein Germknödel Donut. Gibt's nicht mehr. Tut mir leid. Gibt's auch nicht mehr. Gut, dann wär's das. Danke. 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 Habt ihr zufällig äh, Desinfektionsmittel? Dann? Gut, danke. Jo, ciao. Sweet. It's freaking snowing and it's April right now. Yeah, it's crazy. What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. Diana here is from the United States and I, Phil, am from Germany. And we just ordered a bunch of McDonald's food. So we're in a McDonald's in Germany and we're gonna try a lot of different things. There are some interesting items in there and a lot of them you haven't tried ever. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. American wife tries McDonald's in Germany. What? Let's go. I'm gonna take my ring off here because finger food, I'm still a little uncomfortable with this. Oh yeah, I have hand sanitizer. Why? Yeah, it's snowing right now. And a lot of the other restaurants are closed surprisingly, like the dinner shops. And oh, McDonald's yeah. and Burger King are one of the few in this area that are actually open. It's also a thing we only have McDonald's and Burger King in the small town. There's no KFC, no other change you might know from America. But right. let's just get into it and I think we should start with the classic, classic. normal thing, the Hugo cheeseburger. We have a lot. This That's is what we're doing during this time. Anyone else just eating at the moment? We do. A couple of things with a cheeseburger. First of all, I think the cheeseburger embodies the typical McDonald's taste. Yeah. This is what McDonald's tastes like. And there's this big debate, pickle or no pickle. Obviously I love the pickle. pickle. We both love the pickle. A lot of people don't love the pickle. Do you want to do a race? We'll see how fast we can eat a cheeseburger. No, I don't okay. want to do a race. There's so much to eat. That's why we have the cheeseburger. Let's see how fast you can eat a cheeseburger. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I doubt she's doing it. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. That's the best part. Mm. Oh, that's so much slower than I think you can do that. I, are you trying? I'm trying. Yeah, she's not trying. <laughs> I think that's what McDonald's does well. It's so standard and... Consistent around yeah, the world. Yeah, like you can go anywhere in the world and the cheeseburger <clears throat> tastes the same. We're having a lot of items, so you don't need to finish everything if you... Yeah, it's so good when you start, though. It tastes... McDonald's. I challenge everybody to eat a cheeseburger as fast as you can. You might not be as fast as you think you are. All right, I think next thing we should try is something special, which I also never had here, and that is chicken box. This is like, awesome. If, if you eat that uh, speed for the entire video, we'll be here for an hour. Fries? Oh. Yeah, that's also the person that puts fries on her burger normally. Mm -hmm. Well, these are salty today. I don't eat as fast as you. You're an animal. McDonald's fries, a lot of people defend them. I think they're on the lower end. I think the regular fries are way better at Burger King. Really? I think McDonald's fries are better than Burger King fries, but I think the best fries are any wedge fry, like thick potato fry. That's a high school girl thing. Like McDonald's better than Burger King and guys were like, Burger King's better than McDonald's. Let me know what fries you think are better, McDonald's or Burger King. Okay, so we're gonna try this chicken box. Oh, what? So it's the typical nuggets and chicken wings. McDonald's has chicken wings Do they now. have chicken wings in the US? The one thing that really frustrates me about going to a McDonald's, in Germany you have to pay for your sauces. It comes with three sauces. The menu with the fries comes with one sauce. You can choose one pack of ketchup or one pack of mayonnaise or new one, one pack of Western sauce. This is it. This is what you get. Interesting. If you want the second one of this, it costs extra money. Oh. This thing, I don't know, it costs probably 20 or 30 cents extra. Oh, okay. Every little thing of this. So if I have fries, yes, I need like free. a couple. Of them. All right, I want to try this. Right. I love wings. First time chicken wing at McDonald's. 
It's, it's not bad. Not bad. Mmm. It's super juicy. Yeah. Is it deep fried? I think it's deep fried. Ooh, aside from that chunk of cartilage I just had, that was a good chicken wing. Dude, these are really good. And they have the wings too, not just the drumsticks. Surprisingly good chicken wing. Chicken nugget should be also very universal, like the cheeseburger, like the Big Mac. So sweet and sour. I like the fact that there's curry sauce. That's so cool. It's good. Standard mm. chicken nugget. Same everywhere else. Can't go wrong with it. Mmm. Dude, this curry sauce is awesome. I think chicken nuggets is one thing that is better at McDonald's than at Burger King. However, all the chains you have in the US have chicken nuggets, right? Which we yeah, don't have. And they're good so. ones. Like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Yeah. I give the chicken wings like a 9 out of 10. Those are pretty awesome. I this think chicken good. box would be a go-to for me. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, it's eight something and that is very expensive for Germany. Oh yeah, that's expensive for the thing. Does that one come with a drink or it's just the box? No, just the box. All right. For me, the wings also like an eight or a nine. That's yeah, good. Yeah, that's awesome. I love chicken wings. There's no good places in Germany. So I'm glad McDonald's have them. I don't know why I never had them. Wings are something I miss from in Germany because I think in the US, we they're everywhere. There's wing stops. There's always these wing shops. I love them. Next one is an item I know you never had and it's regional, seasonal. It's not seasonal. always on the menu. It's the McRib. Everyone talks about it. Um, I don't know. It always looks like this mess. Like it somebody looks... just butchered a rat and put it on a bun. Ew! <laughs> Go for it. I'll hand you a napkin in a second. Okay. Okay. So here is the long McRib. Why is it so messy? It's always messy. I don't know why. I'm not the biggest McRib fan. It's beef, right? Yeah. It's just beef or pork. I don't know. With the sauce, pickles and onions. Look <laughs> at the mess. You don't look too happy. No. No? I think it's not a good burger. There's just something missing. It feels like something you just like you put a patty of not the best patty and you smothered it with a ton of barbecue sauce. Do you know how people say you cannot eat a patty at McDonald's without anything else? That's how bad the meat That's is. That's true. I think this one comes close to that. I don't know. I would give this like a two out of ten. I'm sorry. That's a... Uh... I think a lot of people really love the McRib. Next one, I think we should go with the standard Mac chicken classic, the classic bigger Mac chicken chicken burger at McDonald's. Ta-da! It looks the same, just with chicken. Why are they long? Are it there is. long burgers like this in the States? That's I a good know. question. No, I think they're all these like hot dog styles. Are you still looking at bratwurst Some meal? Some of them. I loved that one as a kid. Do you like it? It's okay. This isn't mind blowing. Really? I just think they're, I know a lot better chicken sandwiches. It's a chicken also, burger. Also, is this a chicken sandwich or a chicken burger? Phil always calls it a chicken burger. To me, it's a burger. I know Americans call it a sandwich. I love that as a kid. I always got this in my meal. And I think, yeah. If I craved a chicken sandwich, I would give it like a, I don't know, a five out of 10, maybe. I would also give that a five out of 10. I think in chicken sandwiches, Burger King has McDonald's beat, definitely. The long chicken, the crispy chicken, way better. But I think we had a couple of mediocre ones, so I think this is the best burger that you can get at McDonald's. The big, tasty bacon. Big, tasty. Yeah, it's, it's big and tasty. Funny. <laughs> but I don't even know, you don't have that in the US, I, I don't think, think so, I've when never we heard of there, it. When we were there, I looked at the menu, I didn't see it. You have stuff like quarter pounders, which we don't yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, quarter pounders. But okay, so this is basically a big beef burger with cheese, tomato, lettuce, and a very nice sauce. And Onions and sauce. That is, my opinion, the best burger you can get at McDonald's. Mm. We're gonna give this big fat tasty a try. I like the name. I'm honestly surprised they don't have any German name meals, you know, you would but think. But McDonald's, it's the embodiment of America. Uh, yeah. You should feel American. Yeah, even when you ordered, you were like, beef or chicken. You didn't say like Hunchen or... Beef. Oh, yeah. I beef. thought that was interesting. Beef is normal to say. This is huge. Holy smoker doodles. This is a big... I think burger. that might be the biggest burger they have at McDonald's. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> oh, you seem happy, Evan. Mm -hmm. Better than a McRib? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. This one's mine. No, I need to taste it. I never had it. It's a big tasty for one. <laughs> it is for one, but we're sharing a lot of burgers here. Dude. You've had that before, right? Yeah. That's really, really good. I'm also not crazy 
whenever mm -hmm. there's fast food bacon on burgers because I feel like sometimes it gets, I don't know, it's just too much. But that one's really good. It has a nice smoky flavor and the sauce is, is so, it's like a very nice compliment to the burger. McDonald's gets a lot of crap for their image, for what they stand for, but this burger is good on a, on a burger scale overall. I cannot believe this <clears throat> is not in the States. I feel like this would sell. I think you can put that next to a Five Guys burger and the Five Guys burger would still be better, of but course. not by that much. Like this is a hundred times better than a Big Mac to mm -hmm. me. I think it's the best burger I've had at McDonald's and I would give it a seven out of 10. Really? I would give it a, it's hard. On the overall burger scale, I would give it a seven two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Overall burger scale, but it's the best one for McDonald's. To put it in perspective, if this is a seven, then a Big Mac is like a two. Store that for later for me. I found my new favorite. I usually have trouble figuring out what to order. I just order the basic like cheeseburger whenever we go to McDonald's drunkenly. <laughs> McDonald's has one more ace up its sleeve. And Got right it. now they have a signature collection. Look at this box. Holy yeah. smoker doodles. Wow. That's nice. This is luxury. This I think what they're fancy. trying to do is they're trying to up their game a bit. So this burger here, the signature barbecue is a seven euro burger. There's an eight euro one, but they didn't have it anymore. So we got this one. Seven euros just for the burger. To a German, that's crazy. That's like two doner kebabs. Yeah, I mean, to me, after being in Germany for so long, I'm like, well, I can't justify that. Like, let's That's buy, expensive. you could get a Durham and it's cheaper than that. I never had it, so this might be the one oh, that might that. be better than the Big Tasty. It's gold wrapped. What? There's a lighter cheese in here. I can't even move it. It's very sticky. But if any burger has the chance to beat the Big Tasty, I would assume it's this one. It looks certainly pretty fancy. It's like got this. grilled onions too on here. I can instantly see that. It's not just raw. And a brioche bun. All right. The Francais are in the house again. Oh, sweet. Wow, it looks good. Just go for it. It looks so good. What are you mm. Is it better than a Big Tasty? It's honestly a little dry. That can happen if you have two patties and bacon. Yeah, I want it. I'm trying to get in the middle middle bite. Too meaty? It looks very meaty. Like, check that thing out. For me personally, the ratio of meat is too much. It's just too much meat and it's a little dry to be honest. I totally agree. It's um it looks so nice with the brioche bun. It looks beautiful. I like the sauce better on the big tasty. Yeah. I like the ratio better. I like the, the tomato and lettuce Dude. on it. If the Big Tasty is a seven, that's just a five. Yeah, to me, this is like a three. Wow. I'm sorry, I would never order this again. Not for seven euros, for eight euros? Definitely not. I'd rather get a dinner. Okay, so <laughs> before you order the seven euro burger, get the Big Tasty bacon instead. I like that one personally. All right, <clears throat> so you want to... Wash it down. Wash it down with a little bit of Fanta. <laughs> this one is the orange one, the standard. And I noticed something in the US, the Fanta is darker. This is orange, but your orange is darker and it tastes way different. I think the US one tastes more artificial. Probably, I don't really drink it. And a friend of us said, if you're abroad anywhere and an adult person orders a Fanta, you can be sure it's a German. <laughs> Like nobody else ever orders Fanta. No adult person. I wonder if that's true. We should take like a <clears throat> server poll or a flight attendant poll. Yeah. Let me know if you're not from Germany, any other country, do you like to drink Fanta? Yeah. And how old are you? Are and you a kid? Let not? us know what country you're from. Yeah, but the one thing that's very different in Germany than the US is no free refills at McDonald's. In the US and a lot of fast food places, you can go and get free refills. Dude, that's Which is the dream. not healthy. It's expensive in the US, but at least you get free refills and free sauces because yeah. if you have a huge amount of fries mm -hmm. i want six of these sauces and they don't give you any just one <laughs> gluttony heaven <laughs> another burger i never had and you never had oh yeah i want to try this it's the big vegan ts so i have not tried any of the vegan stuff at any of these fast food but i see it everywhere it says achtung null percent fleisch means and attention zero percent meat no meat no fleisch burger king has one too i think all the Places come out <laughs> with I thought a it was vegan just burger. Lettuce at first. <laughs> it's funny. It, uh, the lid it stuck to the lid, but look at it. It's a little reddish, but it looks like a patty. Oh, There's a good amount of tomato on it. Lettuce. I'm building it right here on the spot. Yeah. There you go. Raw onions. That looks kind of nice too. 
Yeah. Like a vegan burger. It looks like a flower garden. Yeah, can you hold that for me? Of anything? course, honey. Thank you. Just... <laughs> I think you can taste that it's not meat because it's lighter. Like, I feel like a lot of the beef patties and the chicken patties are just heavier, but it still tastes good in my opinion. Dude, I wonder what it is. I never tasted <clears throat> any meat replacement like this. That's surprisingly good. For me, I just recently <laughs> started trying some veggie things or vegan things even yeah i'm um, having i have to admit i'm starting to like it it doesn't really give me mcdonald's uh flavoring that's my second favorite that we've had so far big tasty oh. the vegan and then the cheeseburger the vegan better than the seven euro burger wow yeah Surprise. i would give it's that good. like a six out of ten i it's think it's good it's a good description doesn't taste like mcdonald's it's yeah true. okay last item we have a mac wrap chicken TS, tomato and salad. And I think it's another thing where McDonald's tried over the last couple of years to go away from the only burger joint yeah. image, like the bad burger for you image. Trying to do healthy stuff. Do you remember like 10 years ago, they all of a sudden went full on salad. They repainted their yeah. restaurants, made it nicer. We decided not to get a salad because we don't go to McDonald's to get a salad, but yeah. they have salads here. <laughs> so this has a nice packaging. This is cool. I always love the packaging. Oh, stuck a bit. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Looks like a nugget or a piece of a chicken, McChicken. <laughs> uh, that thing is on sale forever though. Uh, it's just one ninety nine, so that's not too bad. Mm. I'm just noticing compared to like, let's say early 2000s or whatever, Dude. when you went to McDonald's as a kid, it was just Big Mac, McChicken, cheeseburger, nuggets. Those were the staples of McDonald's, mm -hmm. right? And then they tried this salad stuff then they went wraps now they tried to offer better burgers and i think that might be because of the competition from higher quality chains yeah. like shake shake five guys in and out which we all don't have in germany unfortunately water burger yeah water burger i think that's why they're trying to up their game with like this signature stuff to like compete yeah. with them this Definitely is really changing. good i'm surprised because it, in college my cheap meal would be just a tortilla with cheese and if i was feeling fancy frozen meatballs or frozen chicken nuggets in it oh. i know it sounds so disgusting but when you're on a budget what do you do and that was my fancy wrap that i made i what didn't want to just the bread <laughs> what is this you can have it thank you <laughs> i'm just gonna close it up there almost more lettuce drops mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm surprised this is a good snack how much is this it's 1.99 it's not that this is Small. a meal. I like this. I would give it like a 6 out of 10 too. I think that tastes better than the McChicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think our rating is pretty harsh. Like if the Big Tasty it should be a 9 and then you can compare better. That would be a 7 for me then. The signature burger would be a 7 for me or 6. But I'm going to be honest. I think the McDonald's here is better. Yeah. Still, because they have all the same things, the same staples, but I would get the Big Tasty because well, that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What we don't have is the Quarter Pounder. Yeah, it's We true. have a Royal Käse Hamburger Royal Cheese. Oh. Maybe that's similar. I don't know about the weight, the Quarter Pound, but quarter definitely. Pounder. They're definitely changing their uh, menu Dude, a lot. I think the Chicken Wings and the Big Tasty oh, yeah. is what I would get. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Yeah. Now I have my new go-to late night munchies. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous. We only, as I said, have McDonald's and Burger King in the small town. Yeah, I, a lot of the restaurants are closed now during this current situation. Even a lot of the donut shops are closed as well. So these are pretty much the only options if you don't want to cook anymore. All right, so that was American Wife trying German mm -hmm. McDonald's. We were surprised. Although we're not trying to go here too often no. because uh, <laughs> we're gaining weight in quarantine. Anyone else? Let us know if you're from Germany, if we forgot any items or any other country what's special to the mcdonald's in your country and uh, also if you're from the u.s let me know if you have something like the big tasty bacon in yeah. some state or area what's the best burger at your mcdonald's what's your favorite just comment below as always thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time i'm gonna finish up bye